Okay, what is the significance of the study? Now, significance of the study is, in simple terms, is the importance of your study to the industry. In business research, how your research is going to help the people sitting in organizations. They might be policy makers, they might be managers, they might be working in uh, marketing department, HR department, finance department. It, it might be government. It might be uh, a university or a school. So now it totally depends what organization you're working on and what kind of variable you have undertaken in your study. So actually, you have to write the benefits of your research to the industry or the sector or the people so how after completion of your study you can help the industry or the other people it is usually one to two paragraphs depending upon how complex was your study so you need to write this paragraph under the heading of significance of the study for example if you're doing research on ptcl employees what is the benefit to the PTCL HR department? The same way, if you're doing a research of uh, Procter & Gamble marketing department, for example, you're trying to analyze that how creative their ads are. And do creative ads of Procter & Gamble impact the sales of the Procter & Gamble? So whatever you're doing, you have to tell back to the industry that these are going to be the uh, findings and this is how your findings can help uh, the marketing, HR or other departments. So how you can write your significance of the study. As I said that it's going to be one paragraph or two paragraphs. So you're going to write your significance in this language. The study will be useful for the HR department of BTCL and other companies. The findings can be used by the policy maker and managers to better strategize the marketing strategies. Now, for example, if you were, you were interested in knowing the effect of training on performance, suppose this was your model. And this is the relationship that you were checking. And in your results, you've checked the hypothesis and you got to know that if you provide training to people, they get learning. For example, this was your model, training to learning and learning to performance. So if, you, if your results are saying that, yes, training has an impact on learning and then learning has an impact on performance, is if these are your findings, then you're going to tell the industry that they should the managers or the policy makers should encourage giving training to their employees and at the same time they need to make sure that trainings are inculcating learning in their employees and then how learning can impact the performance this should also be looked at so based on the findings of your research you're going to say that training should be encouraged and training should be learning centric. And for example, now independently, if somebody is asking that how can we improve the performance of our, of our employees? So your study has the evidence of saying that if you train your people, they learn different skills and then they perform very well. So based on these uh, concepts, what you're going to do is you're going to write a small paragraph of identifying the importance of the findings or of your research to the industry, to the managers, to the policy maker, sometimes to the government, sometimes to the persons who are involved in it. So significance of the study or importance of your study to the industry. So this is what you write in significance of the study. Questions?
नो नी सर नो सर क्लियर मैं इतना कभी आ रहा हूं और आपका सवाल ही कोई नहीं है सर आप माशाल्लाह से बहुत अच्छा पढ़ा रहे हैं क्या है माशाल्लाह ये तो अच्छी बात है अगर आपको समझ आ रही है तो पता नहीं कितने लोग जाग रहे हैं कितने सो रहे हैं ये नहीं मुझे आईडिया नहीं नहीं सर जाग रहे हैं सारे जाग रहे हैं चलो गुड यस सर ओके सो अब ये जब तक आप ये काम करेंगे नहीं आप अपने हाथ से ये चीजें लिखेंगे नहीं तब तक अच्छे लेक्चर्स का कोई फायदा नहीं है ये भी जहन में रखना ठीक है ये सर ओके अब आपने उससे नेक्स्ट जो आपका होगा हेडिंग वो सिंपल हेडिंग है डेफिनेशन ऑफ द की टर्म्स हमने बात की है ना उसमें एब्स्ट्रैक्ट में की टर्म्स लिखी थी बाद में उनका आपने जो मतलब उन वेरिएबल से आपका जो मतलब है उसकी सिंपल सी डेफिनेशन आपने एंड पे दे देनी है जिस तरह मैंने आपको वो पेपर दिखाया ना एक सेकंड दोबारा हम वो पेपर देखते हैं मैंने बताया पेपर की रिक्वायरमेंट फर्क होती है थीसिस की रिक्वायरमेंट फर्क होती है तो पेपर में हमने क्या किया कि हमने <coughs> अगर आप इस पोर्शन को जरा देखें इसको जरा एक दफा पढ़ो कि मैंने जो चार वेरिएबल्स यूज किए हैं द टीम गोल ओरिएंटेशन कैन बी टेकन एज अर्ज टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स थिंग पॉजिटिव आउटकम टू कंपीट एंड आउट परफॉर्म द अदर टीम मेंबर एंड अवॉइड फेलियर इन द प्रोजेक्ट मेरा इससे ये मतलब है और इन इन लोगों ने ये बात कही हुई है इंफॉर्मेशन एक्सचेंज is the exchange of ideas thoughts knowledge and other work related information among organizational members creativity is a creation of new and novel ideas which are important for all types of organizations the innovation is the implementation of these creative ideas in practice for example newness novelty of an ad for the present study ye maine bata diya bhi mera creativity se matlab hai ki jo advertisement hai usme ek naya pan kya aata hai So, इस तरह आपने हेडिंग्स दे के अपने वेरिएबल्स की आपने जो डेफिनेशन ऑफ की टर्म्स हैं ये लिख देनी है इसमें तो आई थिंक कोई ऐसा इशू ज्यादा नहीं है और ये डेफिनेशन आपको आपके पेपर से ही मिल जाती हैं नहीं मिलती तो किसी और पेपर को देखो उसमें आराम से मिल जाएंगी ये जो हम जितना कुछ पढ़ रहे हैं इसमें ज्यादा परेशानी वाली बात नहीं है चैप्टर वन एंड चैप्टर टू ये सारे का सारा आपको जो बेस पेपर आपका है उसमें से मिल जाएंगी सारी चीजें मिल जाएंगी लेकिन उसकी वर्डिंग पैराफ्रेजिंग प्लेजरिज्म खत्म करना वो फिलहाल आपका काम होगा और जब आप एक दफा उससे देख के लिख लोगे फिर आपका खुद ही दिल करेगा कि एक दो और उससे रिलेटेड पेपर पढ़ के तो उनसे चीजें हम लिख लें वो फिर बाद में इंक्रीज करते रहना उसमें डेफिनेशन का हो गया टर्म्स की डेफिनेशन दे देनी है एंड देन द लास्ट थिंग इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दीसेस ये भी लिखते हैं बिकॉज एक तो ये वर्ड्स पढ़ाने में हेल्प करता है और दूसरा ये है कि ये हमारे चैप्टर का नाम क्या है इसका नाम क्या है इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन तो इंट्रोडक्शन में हमने इंट्रोड्यूस भी करना है चीजों को हम एक्चुअली एट दी एंड ऑफ आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी विल गिव दिस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द थीसिस ठीक है इसको मैं आपको भी समझाता हूं एंड देन यू कैन आस्क मी क्वेश्चन सो स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द थीसिस यूजली एट द एंड ऑफ योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर विच इज द इंट्रोडक्शन चैप्टर यू गिव दिस हेडिंग of structure of the thesis why do we give this heading in the first chapter because first chapter uh heading is introduction the first chapter's name is introduction so what we do is we introduce our thesis at the end in a structural form that what is going to be in the next chapters so what we do usually thesis are consist of Five chapters. Some thesis at PhD level are also consist of six chapters. 
usually our first chapter is our introduction chapter so what you do is i have just written one sentence but you can write more sentences for example the first chapter introduces the topic of the study it also analyzes the gap the significance it also gives the delimitation of the study and then at the end it also talks about the definition of the key terms so this is how you give a small paragraph what you have done or you are going to do in your first chapter the same way the second chapter is usually of literature review so you are going to write another small paragraph in telling that in the second chapter uh, there is going to be a detailed discussion of literature review and uh, uh, the definition of the uh, terms then uh, how hypotheses are driven and the hypotheses are also given and then you're going to say that uh, theoretical framework is also presented in that uh, chapter so this is how you're going to talk about that what is included in the second chapter then the third chapter this is going to be a little detailed because in the third chapter you discuss the methodology so what you're going to do methodology is going to contain different headings for for example starting from research design research approach uh, type of study uh, cross sectional or longitudinal study qualitative or quantitative study so the the headings that are included in the methodology part you will be giving those headings here as a part of the structure and then the fourth chapter is the data analysis and findings chapter so you are going to explain in one small paragraph what you will be writing in your fourth chapter and the same way you will also be writing the fifth chapter and you will talk about that we will be discussing the hypothesis and how did we achieve our objective how did we achieve our uh, how did we answer our questions and then at the end you will be giving a concluding remarks including uh, limitations of the study and future research you can also say that implications of the study will also be discussed so this is how you write the structure of your thesis so again the reader is going to have a very clear idea that how you have structured your thesis so this is all about the structure of the thesis